What's up guys, Rangovids Mango 12 here, and we are getting into the death of Spider-Man issue 160. Now this is where he actually dies, and right from the start you can see that we've got this really, really good cover. Like, I mean, just look at his eyes, like how shiny they are and stuff. But, enough of that, we're going to go to the first page now. And we're with MJ, where she is trying to call Peter, but obviously he's not answering. And she's calling, and she's calling, but no answer. And then there's a massive explosion in the background from where Aunt May shot Electro in the first, in the last issue. And then she realizes what's going down. So she's right, trying to get out of the house, but her mum won't let her. And she can't tell that she can't tell her mum that Peter's Spider-Man. So she's being told to stay in the house, and that she can see him at school. So, she sees that there's stuff going outside and she's really worried. And then we go back to Green Goblin and Peter and Gwen and Aunt May. And Peter's like getting them out of there and stuff. Then, oh man, I thought that was a human torch in the background then. So he tells Gwen to get Aunt May out of there, no matter what, because he knows something bad's going to happen. And Aunt May's got blood all over her jacket as well. And she points out that he's bleeding because he's been shot. So so he got, he goes off to fight Green Goblin one last time, giving it all he's got with a sick scene there. And now he says that he's bleeding. And his suit's pretty torn up as well. So Peter's still making jokes about all this. And then you get Aunt May and Gwen arguing about whether we should stay or not. And Peter's going to wake up Johnny Storm. He's going to wake, so the Human Torch. He's going to wake up the Human Torch because he's still knocked out. And when he does wake him up, he well, here comes Green Goblin. When he does wake him up, um, he flames on again or whatever, and he just gets taken straight back out again. But Obviously, because the Green Goblin is like can control fire as the same as last time, he gets knocked out again because Green Goblin then does like this fire blast that we can see on the screen here, and he's out again. So then Peter says that he probably should have woken up Ice Man because obviously it's ice, it's not fire. So now Green Goblin's like basically all fired up and everything. And then there's just Peter left, and he's got blood dripping down his leg there. And his cars are exploding. More explosions. I don't know why Green Goblin's turned white, but whatever. <laughs> so, now he's really furious. And Peter hits him with, like, a post-boxing. And he's saying how it won't, bring, it won't magically bring your son back to life. And all this. And it won't... Oh, look, a massive explosion. And it won't bring his haircut into fashion. <laughs> so he's still got some good jokes. So, but still, Green Goblin do, still gets up, which is really weird. And Peter just keeps fighting and fighting and fighting. And... Green Goblin's got a smile on his face, though. And then, a truck... He's actually driven into Green Goblin by Mary Jane. Vroom. <laughs> and crash. She runs him over. And basically the entire front of the truck just like... Breaks down. So... Massive crash. Still a crash. And then MJ's like, kind of knocks out. And then Peter pulls her up out of it. And it turns out that she actually stole the van to do that as well. And then they kiss. And then he throws her, like, miles away so that she don't get hurt. And he does a spins a cobweb thing for her so that she lands on it safely. And then Peter finishes what he does and he picks up a massive truck and just crashes it onto his head, which is sick. 
I will destroy your family. Like you destroyed my, I will kill. I don't know why Green Goblin blames Peter for everything. Like it's not his fault, is it? Well, whatever. I don't know. Uh. So one last hit, and then MJ thinks that he's done it. And then as he's like, he's not dead yet, but then the truck explodes, and that just completely finishes him off. And then he lands on the ground, and then everyone realizes, like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. and I, th I think he's dead. Norman Osborn's dead, I think. And then Peter's saying that that's about all he had, and everyone's crying and stuff. MJ runs over, where are the police anyway? Like, I thought they called the police and ambulance ages ago. Aunt May still, still, is still refusing to, like, go over there as well, like, go away. So Gwen's, like, running after her. As she goes in and sees, that like, Gwen and everyone, and Peter's probably dead right now. And Aunt May starts crying, and so does Gwen. And MJ's absolutely crying her eyes out. And everybody's really sad. And then Peter's just saying how he managed to save Aunt May and everyone, but he still couldn't save Uncle Ben, but he managed to save them. And then his hand drops down and he dies. And then it all sets in. Wow, look at everyone's eyes. Jesus. Very good art. Thank you, Mark Bagley. And obviously, Aunt May, I don't know how she doesn't have another heart attack right here because everyone just sort of freaks out. And you get MJ holding him. I think Green, is Green Goblin dead? I'm not in, yeah, he's dead. There he is. He's dead. Way. Why does it keep showing him? Oh, he's dead. So, yeah, that's it. Now, after that is Ultimate Comics Fallout issue 1. I don't know whether... I might have this, maybe. I'll, do, I'll show you. But basically, in, this, in the Ultimate Comics Fallout issue 1, it's basically where it's Peter Parker's funeral. And basically, the entire city turns up to the funeral. So that was a really, really, really sad ending. But that is the end of Ultimate Spider-Man. Now, that was... Ultimate Spider-Man was the best. And when I say the best, I literally mean... Like, out of every single Spider-Man comic, Ultimate Spider-Man was the best. Now, I have all 100... And, well, I have 124 Ultimate Spider-Man issues out of 133. And every single, like, comic is just like... Oh, I want to read the next one dead quick. And all this. So it's really, really good. Especially the art by Mark Bagley. <laughs> Can't even say his name now. By Mark Bagley. So that was that was really sad actually. But I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. Because it's got such a sick cover as well. And like it's, it's just really emotional and everything. And there's loads of action. And you know like is he going to you know all this. Is he dead? Is he not dead? And all this. So yeah. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video guys. And. I will be doing more comic reviews, depending on which ones I see. But yeah, so, um, thanks for watching and remember to like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you later.